it's Elizabeth and welcome back. Today I'm going to do the room tour that you all have been waiting for. What you're looking at right now is my floor because I don't know how to do the fancy stuff, you know? So I'll just take you along on a tour and show you everything. So when you walk in my room right here, these are my old um, bookshelves from my old house. And so that they go all the way up and there are two of them and then I'll go through each little thing don't you worry a bit so up there on the top I haven't decorated the whole thing yet but my husband put like a little shelf up there and there's his Hawkeye camera that I believe his grandmother gave him a C for my son and those two wall hangings came all the way from Australia for my sweet sister Karen and then there's a little book that I made a long time ago and a ceramic cat that my great grandmother made. And then if we walk around here, there is the picture that my daughter painted when she was, oh gosh, I don't even know how old, fifth grade, sixth grade, something like that. Now, before I get into the nitty gritty, let's just go around and I'll show you what's here. So here are the bookshelves. Again, like I said, there are two of them cupboards down below there's the other one sorry if the camera's shaking um oh by the way my room is about 95 square feet i think so there's that very tall ceilings though you know so a lot of room to grow upward and then we come around here and this is kind of like a little gallery wall that i have there are my little amish clothing that i bought um that uh square quilt is a little quilt piece that my sweet sister-in-law made for me and then if we pan around here those are paintings that either I have done my daughter did my mother's handwriting and a diamond painting that I did um, and a sweet um, what's it called like um, it's from the Bumiri tribe in Australia that my sweet sister Karen sent me um, and then here is my desk if I walk backward a little bit. I mean literally like I all I have room to do in here is turn around <laughs> So here's my desk. I thought about cleaning it off, but no why do that? This is how I work. So here's my desk and again, I'll show you, you know Every little thing There's the quilt that covers a window. I don't ever open the window. It's really small and doesn't give in too much light because it faces the house right next door. Then you go to this corner right here. I'm literally standing in the same spot, guys, <laughs> and just turning y'all around. Over here are some shelves my sweet husband put up, and then we have an old desk that was in this room that we repurposed, and that now is my sewing desk, okay? And then if we turn around here is my bulletin board that I have yet to put anything on. I'll show you the pile I have, but that's about it. And then there is a sweet quilt that Crafty Irina made me. I love it. And then there is the, um, what's it called? Like the, the noise that always happens, the air conditioner. <laughs> that's the air conditioner room. And um, there's a sweet little quilt that I made a long time ago for my daughter and her dolls. And then there's like a little corner here and this is behind the door, you know, so when you open the door, it's all covered up by the door. But up at the top is my Your Creative Studio items, my extra copy paper and some bins of stuff. And then we have, I'll go through all this, then we have this like, um, sorry for the shaking, the uh, shelves my husband got for me, they work perfectly. And they're all my Sterilite drawers, all labeled and everything. And then now we're back to the carpeting. Okay, so we'll go back over here. I'm trying to go slowly so as not to make you ill. Oh, I have a hook on my door too to hang whatever I need. And then there are my, those are my last pair of toe shoes. <laughs> I still haven't found my first pair yet. They're in here somewhere. Okay, so now we're back to the beginning. All right, so up here on the top shelf, um, that those are my son's first pair of cowboy boots. <laughs> And some little knickknacks and stuff, uh, doilies, and those are my creative daily journals. And they run from, what year? 2015, all the way across over there with little knickknacks, things that people have made. Um, that little, I don't know what you call it, that wooden thing in, she's in the form of an arabesque. <laughs> because, you know, 
yeah, um, my son got me that. And those are more of my journals on top. And then down here, this is just kind of a showcase, you know, thing with, um, I need to figure out where the camera is on here, but hmm, so that I could, oh, there it is. There it is, right where my finger is. Okay, sorry about that, guys. All right, I'm trying my best. All right, because I want to find my finger. There it is, okay. So these are like, that's Mrs. Nichols that my girlfriend Brooke made me. Um, cups, this is from a sweet cousin, my creative cousin. Doily that I made, tea cup, just, you know, memorabilia. There's my old uh, royal typewriter that my husband bought for me. My sweet note for my dad. Some crochet books in the back, I know it's dark. And some other things, yep. And then we'll pan across here and then there finger okay they're my other journals and then once I you know when I complete journals I keep I just keep lining them up right there's my my incense are right there my son's piano trophy his a uh, bear that we had on our bed that he he used to sleep with um basket incense burner there's the first doily I ever made and then you come down here and here's some more just treasures you know things that people have made me or gave or have given me and uh, my beautiful Indian box, okay? Now, let's see if we can come down here. Now, these are a mess, okay? And I don't know how much y'all can see in here, but in here are all the books and stuff that I use for, to make journals, okay? Like, to there are my little golden books back there in the corner, and, you know, like my um, dictionaries and flower books and all that kind of stuff. And then... Oh, Let's see, we come down here, and in here are more gardening books, flower books, and then that whole stack there is what I'm gonna use to deconstruct. Those are flow books, faux flow books that I'm gonna use to deconstruct and um, make into um, you know, a journal. But the rest of the stuff that's in there, they're all items to use to make journals with, okay? So we'll close that up. All right, and we'll come back up here kind of slowly. All right, then you move over here, and here there's like finger. Okay, more books, my sticker books, my ephemera holders, my notepad holder. Um, this box here has like, um, well, let's just look, shall we? Oh, I'm in the shadow, sorry. It has like ephemera pieces, right? But it's right here next to my desk, so I can use it, you know, it's right close at hand. Everything, of course, obviously is right close at hand. Here are some vintage items that have been given to me or pages that I can put in journals. And then let's just see what's down in here. Okay. Okay. Those are extra notepads. I need to find a spot for those. And then we have over back in here all of my extra, I know it's hard to see, I'm sorry, but um, all my extra composition books. Over here, all of my sketchbooks, watercolor pads, all that kind of stuff, my big Xyron maker, piano roll that I my husband bought me. Um, and then down here, I have like my love note journals, sorry, over here. I used to, when my husband was at, was working, he every morning he would send me an email, a love note email, and so I used to print them out and cut them up and put them in books, and so they're all there. All of this stuff right here goes on the blank bulletin board. I just need to arrange it and, and set it up. And then also in here, <clears throat> excuse me, are my, um, what's it called? My Christmas books. The Here, these are all Christmas uh, card books as well. And these are unfinished projects. Okay, so that's what's in there. Let's just close that up. Okay. Sorry. All right, now let's go back up here. Okay, there, there's my pen holder. Those are pen holders that my husband made me with PVC pipe and some spray paint and some glue. And that's where I keep all my pens and I really like it. And I got the idea from, let me see, from Karen Campbell, okay? Let me, I'm just gonna quickly go in this thing here and turn the fan off just in case it's making like shadows or whatever. Okay, so up in here, there's my my husband, sorry, sorry. Um, but I love that picture of him. And in these boxes here, that is um, vintage scraps, and this is colorful scraps, okay? This is a beautiful little, um, 
I don't know what you call it, tchotchke that I got from um, the Sweet Christy Biddleston, yes. Right here, I hang like um, fibers and such, and then this little thing here is my small thing of fibers that I use as I'm sitting at my desk to make tags or, or whatnot. In here, this is my sticker box, and this is stuff for um, either I've received from friends, some happy mail, things like that. There's my dot that I talk to and listen to music with. Um, also, let me say as well is, um, as far as my organization goes and stuff, cause someone will probably ask, I do use what I guess is called, I never knew it was called this, but it's called, um, like the container idea or container theory. And that means like, for instance, my box of stickers there, once that gets full, no more stickers I or I have to get rid of something to add more stickers in so I hope that makes sense that is <clears throat> how I do pretty much everything like all my drawers and all that kind of stuff okay so we'll go over the top of the desk here so there are my fibers this is all of like my glue stuff I got a candle back there to burn if I want to my Mod Podge um, my tacky glue my stinky glue all of that there's a little turny wheel that my husband got for me and that holds all my tools, right? And it turns, got my rulers in it, my hole punches, my scissors, um, my little tiny attacher, um, X-Acto knives, all that kind of stuff, my um, eyelid thing, my awl, and yeah, that's that. And then back in the back is my water bottle that I use. Back there is my bin of, um, I'll just get it if I can. Sorry. Um, whoops. Sorry. Let's see if I can even open this. I don't even know. Yeah. This is my bin o ruffles. Okay. And I keep them in here because it's a laundry detergent thing and it makes them smell pretty. So, yeah. That's why I do that. Now, let's see if I can set it back. Okay. I got paintbrushes back there as well. This is just my very simple camera setup. You know, that's an op light that I use over my desk. And then that's what I set my camera on to film. There's my little glass hat that I love, my binding tape, more paintbrushes. There, of course, is the quilt. Did I show you that? That is the quilt that covers my window. And it was made by my husband's great aunt years and years and years ago. Okay, there is Claire. She is my little plant who likes that spot, so she stay in there. There are some sprays that I use. Um, this is like a little, just a dish with this actually, this these dishes actually I got, they're Ray Dunn dishes and I got them also from Crafty Irina, so sweet. In here is my stamp that has my name Never Hopeless on it. Pencil sharpener, these are, uh, like black markers and such and then back behind it I have right back there are those woody pencils and then Claire again sweet Claire um, tape you know stapler and then these are my water jars that I have like this is my Mod Podge jar the blue one is my watercolor jar um, and the orange one is for acrylics and then I have my paintbrushes that I use most frequently and then over here, um, there are some cute little, I don't know why they're turned in the corner, but cute little, sorry, it's hard to do, like point the camera and whatever. Anyway, those are from Australia as well. This is from a sweet friend as, um, I believe Terry sent me that. I can't be sure. Anyway, over here, this is like where my like um, other tools are, I guess, like my envelope punch board and another punch board and an extra trimmer. And this is my scoreboard. And then here are my glue books, right? There's a little Amish bonnet that I got. This is a dark corner, but um, anyway, that's a lamp. Sewing machine, this is where I keep my printer. And then if we go up here, these are these are like my inspiration books, right? These are um, what are they called? My book house. Oh, I love those books. I found those free at a library. I cannot cut them up. I won't. They're beautiful. My daughter's first pair of cowboy boots. Um, a box from my husband. Another bear that used to sit on our bed. My daughter's scrapbook and an S for her name. Little vehicles that they made. 
This right here, oh my gosh, we, I made these, they're made out of felt, they have rice inside, and it's from the Veggie Tales, and the asparagus family, and there's Larry the Cucumber, and I forget what his name was, but we also had Bob the Tomato, and we cannot find him anywhere. We went through our entire house. I don't know what happened to Bob. We could have given them to one of the little kids. I'm not sure, but anyway, some more books. Um, these are, this is my Exacto box. Um, that's empty, I believe. That is the sailboat my kids found on their first canoeing trip when we owned a house in the Keys. There's my cat butt coaster. Here's some beautiful journals that people have made me. Back in the back of there is a memory box that I have way back in there. It just has personal items in it. And then in the back is where I store my buttons and mason jars. This one here is my Craftspire um, wax seal kit in there. In this box here is playing cards, like vintage playing cards. In here is a vintage, is vintage ephemera in here. Um, that is a Christmas origami paper swan that my daughter made. And then these are some beautiful journals. Um, one that was sent to me and one that I made with my trees in it that you've seen before, I think. Okay, so let's go back over here to my desk and this is the state of my desk you know my journal and that's that's where I do my work that's where the magic happens um, so let's go over here and I'll tell you I'll just tell you if I can reach the drawers I'll show you but in this drawer I have like jewelry making stuff right uh, that's what's in there in the next drawer down is magazine clippings the next drawer down is just canvas oh here's a little basket I have with um, my little like washi flakes in. So that just sits right there. In here, oh, and if you can see like they're all labeled and I used, see, right there. My Munbin label maker to, I think you saw it in a video, maybe the ramble session. Anyway, I've labeled all my drawers. So this one is my pencil case and my small, um, ink pads, right? Also my baby powder and my baby wipes. So that's the, what's in there. This is all my watercolor, water soluble things. Again, the container theory or container method or whatever you want to call it. Once it's filled, that's it. This is like, um, just kind of like a junk drawer, but it has like, um, glitter markers in it and what colored, my colored pencils. So I guess it's not a junk drawer exactly. Why isn't this going in? Okay, I'll fix that later. Anyway, washi tape here, washi tape here. What's in that one? What does that one say? Small ephemera. Okay, this is also like a little box of small ephemera that I keep right on my desk. Okay, this holds like, these are from Loveland's Life and this holds um, like the extra numbers and dates that aren't on a, or the days of the week that uh, printables that aren't on a full sheet, you know? These are some vinyl stickers. You open it up further and there are my clasps or clips and my paper clips. So that's what's in there. Come on now. Of course, well, as I'm filming, this isn't working right, right? Isn't that the way it always happens? Okay, over here is adhesives, all kinds of different adhesives. Uh, small ephemera is in here, okay, and this is my like quotes and desk calendars and prayer cards and all that. I use quotes quite a lot in my journaling. There's my ATG gun, which is like the devil himself because I can hardly ever get it to work properly. I'm sure it is user error. There's my trimmer right in front of me, my Jesus Calling book right in front of me. Over here is my inks. Um, my archival inks, my, I only have like a few, you know, um, sorry. Yeah. And tools and such. And then let me move my coffee over there. And then in here are all my daubers. Okay. That I use on my pages in here are rubber stamps filled to the gills. Let me just tell you. Okay. This is miscellaneous, like a lighter for candles, some tacks, an extra cord, and my fan remote, whatever. These are all post-it notes in here of varying sizes and shapes. And then these are my punches, right? Just a drawer full of punches. So that's what's in there. Okay. 
I won't go into what's in these drawers. It's mainly just like there's a filing cabinet right there for personal items. And then I have like, I don't know, just random stuff in there, whatever. The guy who lived here before really loved his spacers. So he um, put in like, what are they called? Like wooden spacers, you know, it's just weird. My husband has to come in and take them all out. Anyway, that's my sewing desk, okay? Um, nothing can go in here that's not a closet. It is a an air conditioning handler. That is my small bag of, um, for crochet that I like travel bag. Okay, now we get over here to this is behind the door. I told you up there is my, um, your creative studio boxes that I use, my extra copy paper, and these are like project uh, envelopes, you know, project bags, bags with projects in them. Okay. And then we have rubber gloves, we have deli paper, we have my box of um, vintage recipe cards, my cinch envelopes that I'm gonna use one day to color up and uh, make small journals out of. And then in here is antique doilies and stuff like that that my daughter had bought me a while ago. And then we go up here, these are super sturdy shelves too. Up here is, um, I forget what she called it, but it's from Recreations by Brooke. And let me see, it is Slow Stitch to Go. That's what it's called. And she made these boxes up and um, she was selling them on her Etsy. I don't know if she is anymore, but they're really cute to make just little snippets or, you know, fiber pieces or whatever. Really cute. This is my, you can see clearly, obviously, through these. These are all Sterilite drawers. Now, these are 12 by 12. The other ones I just showed you were the 8 and a half by 11. So here's sewing stuff in here, sewing stuff in here. These are my extra adhesives with my um, glue gun. Okay, so that's the first two shelves. Okay, then we go down here to this one. I'll come out and there are one, two, three, four sets of 12 by 12 of these drawers. That in the middle is a mm, probably vintage. It's like a plant, botanical books, you know, super cool. This right here <laughs> is an autobiography that I made when I taught autobiography class to high schoolers. Okay, so let's see what's in here. You see they're, they're all labeled. Again, I use the container theory. So once these containers are filled, no more containers, I have to get rid of the stuff or whatever, like I can't bring any more in. Okay, so here is, in here is completed ephemera. These would be like, tags that people have made me look at that mm, so beautiful or tags that i've made that are just ready to go okay ready to go so yeah that's what's in here just a bunch of tags or vintage like little envelope things you know that i can still decorate and stuff like that so this is a ready to go box for journals this here is my doilies. These are dyed doilies, plain doilies, heart doilies, color doilies, any kind of doily. Paper, paper doily, sorry. This right here is a box full of bags. These are like bags, you know, that I can use in the making of junk journals, okay? This one here is envelopes. So these are all kinds of envelopes, like little envelopes that people have made me and sent. Um, regular size envelopes, um, yeah, airmail envelope, just envelopes that I can use in journaling. This one here just has sketch paper in it and these hanging file folders that one day I hope to make journals out of. This one is, what is it labeled? Scrapbook paper scraps. So that's what's in here. Yep, just old scrapbook paper scraps. And then we move over to this tower and we have fibers in here. These are all just different different fibers and some ribbon, rosettes, stuff like that. In here is colorful fabric. So this is all my colorful fabric. This is also where I keep my, my um, past puppies handkerchiefs that they would always get after they got groomed. I keep those for, you know, making little fiber things out of or fabric ruffles, yeah. This is vintage fabric, right? And trims, vintage fabric and some trims. And then let's see what's in here. Colorful, okay, so this is colorful scrapbook paper 12 by 12. 
This is vintage scrapbook paper. These are little pads, 12 by 12, 6 by 6, 8 by 8, whatever. Vintage, though. And this is my Christmas one. So 12 by 12. Okay, now we get down to the last shelf here, and there's a bunch of bunch more drawers, you know. But this seems to really be working for me. I really do like the way that this came out. I'm glad my husband came up with this idea of the shelving. It makes it a lot more sturdy. <laughs> and in this section right here, I have one, two, three, one, two, three. I have nine eight and a half by 11 containers. So, oh, I don't have a label here. I need to make another label. So th in this one is tags, right? Yeah. Okay, in this one is junk journal paper. So it's all kinds of different dyed paper, just various papers that I can use to make junk journals with. In here is more junk journal paper. We'll just go down, I guess. This is cardstock, and they're in really no particular order, you know. And because they're all Sterilite, I, if I find that the position of what's in the drawer is not working, then I can just move them around. It's no big deal. In here, I keep my file folder of printables. It's just super easy because my desk chair is right there. So it's very easy for me just to, you know, scroll back and get my printables out. In here is like blending stumps, more uh, water soluble items. Yeah. My uh, watercolor, Derwent watercolor, my, um, those are Lyra, I believe. Aqua color, yeah. So water soluble and water stuff. Here's stuff for mark making in here. This is stencils and these are like um, acrylic paint pens, things, yeah. And then in here is miscellaneous stuff, extra washi, um, some more pens, things like that. Okay, now go back up. Let's see what's in here. This is vintage dyed paper. So all of this is vintage dyed paper. This one right here is colorful dyed paper. This one here is colorful dyed paper for making journals. This is like the fasteners and office supply kind of stuff, push pins and little um, clothes pins, bigger clothes pins, rubber bands. I, my eyelets are in here, all that stuff for fastening. Let's see what's in here. This is my napkin drawer. So there are my napkins. This is my um, sewing patterns. So we have those in there. This is tissue paper, all filled with, and some Tim Holtz tissue paper, regular tissue paper, things like that. Oh, sorry, didn't mean to do that. It's hard to hold this thing. Okay, where are we? Cardboard, oh, there's an extra book. This does not go here, I'll move it later. But down below there is pieces of cardboard that I use to make the spines of my books. And then in here is my sprocket and my mum bin um, label maker and extra label tape, so there's that. Oh my goodness, I need to get on my knees, sorry guys. Okay, now we're up here. The last one here is my ribbon that I just, I wound all my ribbon onto cards and stuck it in there. In here is trims and seam binding dyed. This is cheesecloth dyed cheesecloth, all just different trims and whatnot. In here is lace trims and random trims, uh, vintage trims. Let's see what's in here. This is all of my crochet thread. And this is, I use this a lot for binding my journals and typically I put it on these clothes pins um, so this whole drawer is filled with clothespins, <laughs> see, and my, and baker's twine and stuff like that. So there's that. Fake flowers. Um, what's in here? Oh, these are all, like, those are postcards, but these are greeting cards. So I have, I think three drawers of greeting cards that I can use within journals because that's always fun. Greeting cards, greeting cards, or I could just, you know, if I need to send a note to somebody, I just pop in there and, and get a note out. And that's empty, so I have one empty drawer. Now, since I'm on my knees, I'm just going to go over here and show you quickly what's under my desk, if you can see it. Okay, we'll see. All right, yep, because there's more stuff under here. Okay, I do have my empty boxes, like that box back there is my sewing machine box. I just store it back there. Behind this thing here is my typewriter box. 
this is a little, um, what's it called? Like an iris case that has boxes within the box. Yeah, it just has stuff in it. And then all of that under there is Christmas items, okay? That uh, silvery box up there is vintage, like very vintage Christmas items. But I use all of these things to um, make my Christmas journals and stuff like that. And then let's see, over here, those are my kids' lap books. When they made them in high school, I had to keep them. And here's where I keep my magazines, right here. Mantra Wellness, my um, art journal magazines, um, and some other ones up in there. Not too many. I'm down to four boxes. I think at my old house, I had like nine. It was crazy. And of course, my trash bin right there. And then behind it is my yarn. I have a, it's like a large Sterilite box. Um, yeah, that has three drawers and I keep my yarn in it. Okay, so that's the room, guys. That's the room. <laughs> it does... It's small, but I have plenty of room for all my stuff and all my treasures and all my goodies. And I really enjoy coming in here. And I I love my husband for putting all this stuff up for me and for putting up with me. Yep. And then that's where the magic happens, right there. So I hope you enjoyed that. Sorry if it was too shaky. Um, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Uh, yeah, I hope you have a great rest of your day and a wonderful week, and I'll talk to y'all real soon. Bye for now.